Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new episode of East Shade, and today we are finally on the other side of the island, which is Westerly Woodlands. Uh, we are at the hot spring. We are, I guess, going this way, but on the left, we see a house. Let's go check this house out. More eggs. And wow, they are really farming the stuff here. Let's go. Oh wow, look at that waterfall over there. Wow, look at that. This is the colors I'm talking about. Red, dark red. Thomas Farm. Now we have orange, we have those bluish greens. Then we have, holy cow, lots of blues here. Uh, chickens, and then we have this entire farm of these guys. Oh, I can't pick those. That sucks. Uh, there is stuff over there though. Let's go check this out. We have this here. We have this here. Great. I think they want a painting because they left both of those ingredients there for us to check. Oh, hello. Oh, the sunlight glitters brightly. Oh, hey, you ever been to the sea? Yep. I've sailed it. Ah, oh, gosh. Is that right? I'm going to study at the University of Nava and try to join the academy. Great. I've been training for weeks. Perfect. Best of luck. It's a nice campus. What about this farm? I've been there so many times, but I can't wait to live there in the bustle of Nava with so many shops and people my age. <laughs> my dad loves the farm, and I do too. Oh, but the sea, just thinking of it makes me want to sing forever. Maybe I could grow the company. Find a new port to export our crops. By the way, can I get you a tea? You must be parched. Let's uh, see. I've got bloom sack or mountain wart. Here you go. Thank you. That that that's a good job actually. Exporting outside. Uh that would really help business and she can achieve her dream while also maintaining the farm. So Hello, names we're the largest distributor of bloom sacks in the entire world. My old man was always proud of that. Hoping my daughter, Celie's her name, hoping she'll take it up after me. Yep. After attending university, of course. No way she'd miss out on the adventures offered by the academy. Yeah, that would be a nice legacy. I just love this old farm. My dad built it from the ground up. Well, better get back to it. I was just taking inventory of our stores. Seems like we're missing quite a few veggies. And I've been finding apple cores everywhere. Uh-oh. I've never heard of an animal just leaves behind the core and Celie hates apples so it's not her nice chatting see you okay they have an apple problem which means oh I can't go in no I can't go in I guess one oh yeah we can we just have to edge right beside him captain's memoir wow more you can pause the screen there and just read it uh, but I'm not going to read it. So, that is a beautiful sight. Man, that's dreamlike, isn't it? Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, Tom Bloom Sagmore has noticed apple cores all around his property. Who's leaving them behind? Right, so we can see these apples. Let's follow this trail here. And see where it goes. Wow. So much wastage of apple. That's too bad. Damn, that's a lot of apples. Apples, apples, apples. Still up the core. Holy cow, that's a lot. And they keep going. They're following this trail, I guess. And there's lots of stuff to pick up on the way. Aha. Uh -huh. Looks like it turns right. Oh my god, I can't wait for that view. Oh, there is that tower we were talking about. I always wanted to see from Lindau. And now we can fi finally uh, check it out. But first, we have to find these thieves. <gasps> there it is. There's the thieves hideout. Oh, you thought it would be animals, but no, it's it's humans. I mean, it's whatever these things are. Bears or 
deer with antlers. Uh, now where could these thieves be hiding? Look at that view. Uh, they should be here. This is their hideout and the trail ends here. Uh, my guess- oh no, I thought that was a person but it's a tree trunk. My guess is we have to wait for evening time and then we can find them probably. <gasps> look at that, look at that tower. That is so cool. Right, so let's pack this up here. I slept till the morning and guess what? These monkeys. What are you doing there? Are you alright? No talkie. Is this food yours? Um, Did you steal food from Thomas Farm? Please don't tell. Oh, you guys are screwed. Uh, you've got a lot of apples there. Um, uh, okay, it's this. Alrighty, so let's go back uh, to Thomas Farm. Uh, we are not gonna fast travel, we are just gonna run back. Uh, and take in these beautiful sights. Hopefully we don't get lost on the way because I'm not following the trail. Hopefully it doesn't lag because I feel like it is. Man, <laughs> my view is just going weird. I think it's the game itself that's doing this. Uh, but let's see here. Let's go back. Let's give him the good news. And see what he wants to do with it. Strangest thing. After talking to you before, I found a bunch more apple cores. It isn't you eating them, is it? Must be your daughter. <laughs> I found who's eating your apples, some kids. Just alone in the woods? Are they okay? Take me to them right away. They must be starving. Great. Oh, and the kids are here now. Good thing you found those kids. Just living off apples for who knows how long. And to stay with you. Uh, where do you think their parents are? Hard to say. But I don't think they're from Eastshade. These two are exhausted and famished. Might be able to find out more after they've gotten a rest. Uh, can they stay with you? What's next? We're going to need to whip up a meal more substantial. Thanks for looking into the apple situation. I never would have expected this. I don't have much. But see you. Uh, to see you again. No word. Sounds like there was a boating accident. I'd hate to think the worst, but the waves by the bluffs. Sheriff in Nava said the kids can... Thanks again. See you. Okay. Uh, so we need to find their parents, basically. Uh, which we will find at the bluffs. But I want to go to the tower. Awesome. Beloved father, uncle and brother. Oh. Okay, let's go to that tower that we saw up here. I believe it's here then. And let's take a painting of that because someone from Nava wanted it. I think that should be the thing. Uh, we can, you know what, let's use our bike. That's gonna help. Damn it. Okay, let's, ooh, stable place. Here we go. And we will. <laughs> so wherever you look, that's where you bike. So let's follow the trail, cause it's just easier to navigate around. Oh, this bike is fast. Man, the sights are absolutely beautiful. We will go down to the coast and... Oh, oh, that's just a stick. It's okay. That's the issue with the bike, right? We cannot uh, pick up resources because we're going to have to, you know, get off the bike. And that just slows you down and it's annoying. And once we turn, we're going to see that tower. Oh, yeah. Wow, very desolate. Uh-oh. I don't think we can go, go up there. We have to go around. Let's go around. And that trail actually goes to the right as well. I think that goes right back to uh, the hot spring. Is that a person? No, that's a tree trunk. And those are ruins. Okay. Let's get off this thing and let's pack this thing. Let me see if the painting works. I love this painting. I'm going to paint this. Yep. It worked. 
the lonely tower. Uh, no, we want. Uh, how do we tell? Uh, okay. Our contract fulfilled. See the lonely tower. So we need to go back and sell this. Uh, let's go to this tower and see if anyone lives here. There's that windmill over there to probably uh, make flour from wheat, right? Hopefully I don't have that backwards. Uh, no one's here. It is empty. Empty sauce. Okay. Uh, that's too bad. I wanted to go up and enjoy the view. But I guess we're going to have to go up there and enjoy the view from there. So we just discovered a uh, sandy snout beach. And then we discovered this west tower. There's nothing on that beach. Uh, there might be. If we discover more. But let's whip out our bike and go to those ruins over there. That, that looks cool. That looks cool. All right. There we go. This bike is just amazing. I'm so glad I found it. It was just by luck too. There were a few more shops at Nava that I hadn't talked to or discovered. And while I was trying to find that uh, secret club, I came across these shops. And I had enough money to buy, so... Oops. Wow, look at... Looks beautiful. Man. So pretty. It's amazing. I still I'm just enjoying it so much. Oops, I got off the bike to uh <laughs> to pick that up. I when I said I wasn't going to. Okay, Tiff more ruins. Let's pack you up because it's so easy to misplace. These are the ruins. Oh yes, uh a column. That's it. That's it. An arch. Perfect. We can paint this. Uh, let's see here. This we need to sell. I'm going to keep this one. And this. We're just going to make it bigger. No? What? A uh, small stone bridge. A natural arch. Arc. I prefer it includes natural arc. Oh, it's natural. Okay, not man-made. Damn it. I fell for it. Uh, but holy cow, look at that. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new episode of East Shade. And today we are supposed to do a little bit more exploring. Uh, so we have been somewhat in the woodlands. We have explored this side of the Tiffmore Bluffs. We are going to continue on this side here. To the heart of the bluffs and check out that tower finally holy cow that was a steep drop and uh, let's hope we can find that tower but you know what it's okay if we get lost I'm all for it oh it's a ghost driving uh, if we get lost it's absolutely fine the world is so beautiful that uh, it's okay to get lost <laughs> you know, take a hike. Okay. Uh, where could that tower be? Where or oh, where? Uh, is this the Tiffmore Bluffs right now? I don't know. We're supposed to see lakes. I think we are to the this somewhere over here because we haven't seen those two lakes yet. This is the pathway. I think the tower might be on the other side. Oh yeah, they've made sure they blocked the way. Show me that way, brother. We are gonna go- Oh! Will this work? Will this work? It's a very jank arc. Uh, but uh, we will do our best. Wow, this painting is actually pretty legit. Yes! A natural arc. It worked! Uh, we're gonna make money. We're gonna make money when we go back to Nava. And not to mention, uh, we have... Uh, what did we complete? 
Elixir of life. We have completed that. Lockbox. I have found a lockbox and tip more. Okay, we don't know for that. Yeah, so we... What? Uh, so we finally finished that quest. I think we should go to Nala and... Uh, oh, it says Melworks. Wilmer's Ark. Uh, so we should go back to uh, Nava and advance with that scientist of ours. Oh wow. Like we're up in the mountainside almost. Yeah. So hopefully access the top peak of the, the city, the tower. And uh, take a painting of that and at least we'll have one more painting down our belt here. Where the heck are we? I think we are... No way, we are almost there. Holy cow, did we make it? Uh... Tiffmoor Gorge. Wow, should we go down here? I mean, since we're already here, might as well. Okay, uh, that's how small this world is. I was hoping it'd be, you know, a lot bigger. But oh, that water must be so clean and so cold. What? Okay, I guess that goes the other way. This isn't the same cave system from the previous episode. So worry not, we are not re-exploring, we are just going through a new cave system. Uh, I don't think we can go back up now. So we shot ourselves in the foot there. Uh, but it's okay, we are exploring. Hopefully don't, we don't get stuck down here and die down here. Hope not. Uh... Wow, it is shallow. I, I thought, you know, we'd have to whip out our boat here. It's dark, unfortunately. There is no lighting that we can carry. Another spring? What? Oh no, this is the spring. This is the same cave system. What the hell? Yeah, this is the one. Oh, man. Oh, so we completely missed that. Uh, I'm going to try and go up there. Or you know what? Screw this. Uh, we will quickly travel to their farm. Oh my god, that is so loud. Why is it so loud? Is there a storm outside? I think there might be a thunderstorm outside. And the game is frozen. Perfect. Alright, finally. Uh, the game did decide to start working, but it doesn't take much to start it back up. So, let's go ahead. Uh, whip out our bike once again. And start exploring this beautiful, beautiful landscape. Wow. And those are where I think we are looking at this way. This way. That's the apo apothecary. Apothecary, I think. And that is the windmill, probably. Yeah, that's the 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 forest. Oh my God! Every time I touch the menu it uh, let's go of the bike and there are no way markers so once I lose you know once I forget the bike somewhere I'm I'm, I'm done for I'm not gonna find it because it just hides so well look at that wow insane to the membrane okay that's Let's get back to it. Let's go down this pathway. Let's see what we can discover. And you know what? Screw the pathway. We've been trying to get to this tower for a while now. Uh, this looks very American-like, doesn't it? They have that tower in Washington, D.C. It's obviously a lot bigger than this, but... Uh, pack. Wow, constructing this in the middle of nowhere. Cool. Right, so let's uh, go ahead and talk to her. Before that though, let's see what this is. Uh, dearest goddess, uh oh. 
a creator of the river plants and hills, minder of stone, wind, and flames, please accept our most humble offering, grown and plucked with everlasting respect for your cre creations and their well-beings. Huh, interesting. Hello, crazy lady. Mm. Yes. Uh, what do you I see? I can see all, and at the moment, I see you. Well, no sh- I see everything about you. Prove it. I will prove nothing. Least of all to you. Be gone. Let her divinity take you. <laughs> Sorry, what do you see? I see you have vast untapped potential, which you have not yet fully utilized. Her voice is very loud for some reason. Tell me more. I see doubt. You sometimes question if you've chosen the right path. I do not. I see you are hindered by restrictions others may impose on you. Not at all. And I can see you are of your own mind. You do not blindly follow. Okay, sure. Yes, I think you are just the one I need. Tell me, have you heard of the Roots? Oh. Oh, finally. They are a group with lazy tendencies and hedonic inclinations. The Holy Tea is sacred and should only be used for sacrifice to her divinity. The use of teas by mortals is... loathsome. We Shez understand that dream teas were created by Tiam for use by her alone. The tea must be offered only to Tiam. Uh, I agree. There's plenty of tea to go around. Science sounds like a waste. TM sounds made up. Uh, so you're building a tower to a goddess and this all is just mumbo jumbo to me and I am going to disagree with her. Uh, but I want to be nice. So there's plenty of tea to go around. That's the nicest one I can say. I, I'm not going to agree with her not at all. I see that you are confused. But you'll understand in time. The sinful use of dream tea must be stopped. Oh. The tea must be grown for TM or not at all. But the Roots members recognize us well. We need you. Will you accept this command from TM? Mm. Uh, sure. A pure soul you have. Her divinity, you must take this vial of TM's antidote and splash it on the Roots Tea Vine. A single splash on a single leaf will do. You must first gain access we to the have if you have it. Uh, I'm already a member. What will the antidote do? Okay. I mean, I don't need to tell her that, but sure, why not? I see. I won't ask how or about what sins you have committed. You're a child <laughs> of TM now. Will you take the vial? Yes. Okay. Go then, Praise TM. Alright, so I need to uh, tell these uh, club members her plan. And maybe, you know, they'll come and destroy her. Her foolish ways. No. No, you are all wrong. I do not agree with this. So we are gonna just rob these people here. And we are gonna go our, on our way. So now we have two uh, missions we need to go back to Nava for. So let's go to Nava, finish these missions. Hopefully we can make a painting for our mother. And then let's come back and finally explore Tiffmoor Bluffs. Uh, there has to be something here. I think there should be a town or a city here. There has to be. Meep meep. Coming through. Hello chickens. Uh, let us sell our painting. Unfortunately, I don't know what happened. Uh, but... Uh-oh. Oh. Uh, our natural arc just went away. It's not fulfilled now. I don't know why. We've got plenty more patrons interested in your work. Not bad. Yeah, I don't know. Well, that was weird. Uh, accepted, accepted. A starry, a starry cavern. Strange dreams, and uh, but it turns out I'm actually in a cave with stars all around. Would you paint something like? Oh, I know exactly what this is. 
Uh, so you know the bioluminescent things, polypers or whatever inside this cave? That's all we have to paint. Oh my god, that is so easy. But uh, we are here for two reasons and for two missions. Let's go ahead and talk to the scientist. Let's ride a bicycle inside the library. Uh, yep. Because we are hashtag rebels. Oh, yeah. It is loud, too. So. Okay, and the scientist should have a sign above her door. Which is right... There. Holy cow, for a sec, I was like, uh, did we pass it already? There are two missions. Well, yes, we're supposed to go to that club as well. We can do that soon. Hello, scientist. A fine day for science. How's the hot spring sample collecting going? Oh, it's done. Oh, I'm still working on it. Oh, no. You know what? When my game crashed, it unsaved that whole thing. Oh, that's so stupid. Oh, I have to go back again. Damn it. Mm. Okay, uh, let me do that and be right back. Island like some sort of a unpaid assistant. Uh, what do you I want? I know how remote some of those hot springs are. It was no small task. And to think you won't see a single glowstone for all your trouble. What a pity for you. Mm -hmm. But the biggest waste here is how utterly pointless your task was. It's just astounding how much energy you cynics waste <laughs> all to crush the happiness of believers. Or maybe it's to prove to yourselves that you haven't been missing out on something wonderful, which you have. But I'm no psychologist. I'm just a merchant. Don't mind me. I just bring life and joy to a city full of happy customers. What? I was just walking, uh, riding my bike up to uh, the library and this guy automatically started a conversation with me. So, it doesn't hurt to learn more. You're giving people false hopes. Uh, it doesn't hurt to learn more. Let's be nice. Listen here. I will give you 200 glowstones if you give me those hot spring samples and never say another word to Zara. Wow. Uh, no. Absolutely not. I'm trying to save myself the public relations nightmare Zara is trying to cause with all her nonsense. <laughs> uh, is your elixir a sham? Oh, this is that merchant guy. I know my elixir extends life as surely as I know the moon will hide the sun tomorrow. But I also know Zara's science won't find anything special no need to be in scared. spring water that will explain it. Or maybe those university snobs don't know everything. Maybe there's something more to that water. Something they can't see with their microscopes. Something they put just mm -hmm. because they can't see it with their fancy tests. That doesn't mean it's not magical. You have to trust me on that. Mm, so, I don't. Are you going to take the glow? You and Zara are going to rob so many people of Eastshade's greatest gift. Is he going to kill me or? Alright, he's not. Alright, let's go up to Zara. Yo, that merchant was about to, like, stab me. I so it's better be good. Here in the university, even though my senior professor Esma can be a bit eccentric. eccentric. How's the hot spring sample? You do? Fantastic! That can't have been easy. I understand that some of those hot springs are quite remote. Oh, I can't thank you enough. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get right to analyzing it. It shouldn't take long. Come back in an hour if you want to see the results. This could really put that con artist out of business. Perfect. Where's my reward? Sounds good. Let's be nice with her, yeah? Bye-bye. Alright, let's wait an hour. Uh, can we... <clears throat> uh, plop our tent here. Hmm. That's too bad. Uh, so I'm gonna wait a hot minute and be right back. Finally been an hour let's go ahead and see what she has to say oh it's going to be another late night that's no sure. you'll never guess what i found oh she found something okay the hot spring water is special <gasps> it's full of minerals no there's one mineral in particular i can't quite match its particle shape to any other known minerals it may be a new discovery more study is needed of course 
I can't thank you enough for retrieving these samples for me. This could be an important contribution to science. Nice. What? Oh, yeah, that. No, definitely not. <laughs> Melik's elixir doesn't even contain trace levels of hot spring water. It's just city rain water, oh. the stuff we all drink every day. <laughs> definitely. I did some sample comparisons. Seems like he mixed other things in, sweeteners and flavorings by the looks of it. Anyway, definitely not the stuff from any of the springs. Totally different mineral profile. Ah, what a sneak. What do we do now? I'll be taking this report straight to the Shadian Post. I know a reporter there who will be very interested. Good. Thank you so much for all your help. We've really done some good here. Take that lying scum down. Uh, I need a top floor pa pass, please. Oh, that's right. Here you are. Yeah. Good. Uh, night drummers, we already know. Lockbox. Medra is an old Bearfolk family name. A few Bearfolk around here have ancestors named Medva. Our own ranger, Victor, <gasps> down at the no National way. Park is what... From what I've heard around town, Lady Samira also has family in the Medva line. Hmm. Perfect. We got a hot lead. On our locked box, uh, Lady Samira or Park Ranger. Yes, we know Park Ranger. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we can finally go on the top floor, guys. I also, when I went back, uh, to uh get to the Tifma Gorge, I ended up taking a painting of the bluffs because we can take it anywhere on the bluffs, and that will fulfill our mother's wish list. So the last one left is the tower. Uh, so let's uh, let's go up here and see if we can do it. All right, buddy. Sorry, you can't go up. Move out the way. Oh, go right ahead then. Have a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. I really hope it was daytime though. Maybe we can sleep up here. Ooh. Uh, let me make sure I can sleep because it's not worth it. Oh man. They really did a number on this. Come on. What? Can't even build there. Okay, so that that is the front. I mean, even during the day, it's not gonna look that great. It's just green trees right now. So, uh, let's see. Anything? Anything? Anything interesting? So, what did our mom say? Uh, anywhere on the Tiffmore Bluffs, I've already done that. A giant tree, I've done that. Uh, the highest peak. Anywhere on the Tiffmore Bluffs, the highest peak. And the view from atop of the common tower in the big city. Okay, uh, giant tree. Tiffmore Bluffs. The highest peak. And the common tower. Okay. So, uh, let's take a terrible, terrible painting. From up here. Uh, it's not gonna look great because it is nighttime, but. No? Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. I was like, what the heck? It didn't update our mission. Uh, you've painted one of Mother's most beloved places to keep it to preserve her memory in the painting menu. Uh, so for this, we're gonna put this. And there we go. Main mission is now complete. Our mother's memories are fulfilled. So now we have, I should check in Nava or Linda if there's a ship that can take me home. I don't want to do that just yet. Uh, we are going to go and check out with Victor and we are going to go to that club. Uh, but that will be all in the next episode. Perhaps the next episode will be our last one. I will be very, very sad to leave this beautiful country of East Shade. I don't know if this is a province of East Shade, you know, called East Shade or what. But either way, guys, please like, subscribe, comment, and I will hopefully see you in the next episode. Until then, guys, enjoy.